copper and solder don't break down. My house was built in the 50s. Well, newsflash. Copper and solder do break down. Look. I even have it together right here. What's nice is I knew this was going to happen because copper's consistent. Let's fix it. We got three pinhole leaks in one copper pipe. We're going to fix it first, but then we're going to dissect the problem. And I also decided we're going to replace this with copper and not pack. That way we can come back and dissect this brand new piece of copper in one year and see how it's holding up. Because you know I enjoy proving people wrong. So I'm going to cut the bad copper out and I'm going to prep the new copper to take on Pro Press. Because I'm certainly not going to be bothered with solder. Oh, check it out. More copper that's been replaced. Huh. Yeah, okay. So that was super easy. Squeeze some pipes together, connected everything. It's good to go. Let's turn the water on and let's get to the fun part. Let's see what's actually going on inside these pipes. One thing that I do find fun about soldered pipes is that you can reheat it up and you can pull it apart again. So the house that this came out of was built in 1993. So per this comment, there's going to be nothing wrong with this pipe when it comes off, right? Because soft metals like this would never break down. Hmm. Well, that's pretty interesting. I also, of course, saw dozens of comments saying that mice and rats are going to chew through pecs. Well, kind of looks like copper did it itself. So a quick and easy recap. This is exactly why I don't like to use copper. And this visual evidence supports PEX is superior. Like and follow because I'm making your life easier.